welcome the Jennings Toy Box. We have a little tiny bit of a mail call, mainly because my husband found some really cool things on eBay and I think Facebook Marketplace, not entirely sure. But apparently he found some stuff and I know he found some stuff for our little one as well. Um, so we're gonna do the mail call. And as you've seen, mail calls are few and far between because we're saving up for a toy trip, we're thinking. Um, so we're gonna be buying less online and maybe more on the road, so we'll see. Um, I guess I'll start with this box. This, I hope nothing important is in here, let's just put it that way, because it looked like someone stepped on it. Um, it's very scary, however, this was packaged. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, I don't really think I need to worry about opening it too much. Oh, okay. I really hope that's not crushed. Um, let me see if I can get in here, into here a little bit better. It's got a box inside of a box, so that's always good, right? All right. I was not expecting there to be, I, I saw a tiger on one end, but I wasn't expecting there to be a dinosaur on the other end. I was just, I wasn't ready for that at the, at the moment. All right, so let me see what we got here. Or if I can get it open, that would be a lot easier. Oh my goodness. I have not seen these. So these are like almost like a 2000X like Bobo. And I really like these like a lot. I want to know exactly what they are. Um, but they're very like this is obviously the He-Man looking one. And I'm looking to see. I'm not just looking up his little kilt thing. I'm trying to see if there's. I'm getting old. I can't read this little stuff. Nope, I can't see anything. Um, so I wanted to see if there was stuff that kind of signified what it was. But that's like the He-Man one. And this is the Skeletor, which is really dope. He's got like skulls all over him and a really tattered cape. So he's really neat. Um, let me see if I can get him to stand. And he's got like really weird boots. Well, I like these. Where does he find these things? Like this is really neat. Um, so this is like the front view. This is really cool. And I like that they're smaller. These are like a really fun, playable type action figure. Um, I think they're a little much for my little one. He likes the big and clunky ones, so this is definitely part of the collection um, in here, probably. But that's neat. And there, wow, this is cool. I like this one. It's got a saddle and everything. Yo, he's got like a belly missile. That is really cool. Um, this is probably like one of the favorite, my favorite toys that I've seen in a while. This is really neat. Um, so essentially, you know, I'm going to, you know, he's going to go on here because he's the good guy, right? And he's going to go on here. On the, oh my God. With his flowing evil cape. Oh my goodness. And look, you can just take him for a ride. Look, this is really cool. Again, where does he find these things? Does he look up like Masters of the Universe knockoffs? Like, is that what he goes for? I wouldn't be surprised if that's in his search history, but um, I thoroughly approve of that pterodactyl. Not going to lie. That is a really cool toy. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. Let me see. What is in this box? Box of goodness. I was looking where I put my little toy spear. All right. Wow. I must say, I, I am not mad at that last purchase. That was a good one. I, I'm I'm all in. Um, so let me see. I think this one, by what I was looking at, was um, from one of our friends, Gobo. Um, I think he sent us some stuff. Oh, this is um. Oh my! I remember this. My husband bought a turtles lot, right? An entire huge one, um, of really cool turtle stuff. Um, and mainly because, you know, we wanted another one of these, right? Um, and then my husband really wanted more Mausers. So he loves these. And now my little one likes them too. So we're kind of doomed. But, um, but we're not really letting him play with them. He, he wants to play with the vintage ones in the worst way. And we're kind of saying no because, you know, kind of expensive vintage Mauser 
and um, these are all like turtle accessories and I really like this it's like a head sucker thing this is really neat um, and they have like a clear one too so those are neat and we've got oh this is <laughs> rat tail I'm gonna put these up here and um, I don't know if that one will stay but um, we will see maybe not you know it was a good idea but um, we've got a splinter tail that's very disturbing and you know more Mausers some weapons and stuff but oh my god my son is gonna love these um, yeah he's gonna get these all but the Raphael I think but I don't even know if there's a Raphael in here to be honest with you but he's trying to get his legs they're all higgledy piggledy so there you go Oh, there's a little tiny Roth. Which I think my husband has that one anyway. Cool. Yeah. Um, my son has really been into... Ooh, Leatherhead. Um, my, my son has really been into uh, turtles lately. And I know my husband's going to steal that. So, um, we're kind of buying the action figures. And then we've got a Krang. So, this is really neat. Um, I love these. I love how skinny these like little limbs are and this is just a really cool action figure to me because it's different it's something you don't see very often and I'm gonna see if I can I mean what in what universe do you think this is gonna stand like I'm not gonna do that it's just not gonna happen um oh is this going Leatherhead or something you know this, this is like some kind of and then we've got some more turtle stuff I'm trying to see what the, oh this is a shredder weapon um cool nate's nifty thrifties so thanks nate nifty thrifties this is cool um oh here we go poor bud i got your tail don't worry don't you worry there you go we've got his tail poor splinter he just did not have his little life together but this is um i don't know if i said already but this is from the 2012 series on nickelodeon that that my son and husband are currently watching and absolutely in love with and he's just going to tear everything up probably you know you know how it is you know i can't stand stuff Ooh, this is nice and i really like the um i'm not gonna lie i really like the new um like the sewer logo it's really super cute i'm not gonna lie um and this is really cool. So put leatherhead, um, metal, metal head right up here, next to leatherhead. See if I can get him stay. Maybe, yeah, right. And then with the logo, I like very cool. Ooh, my son's gonna love this one. He's huge. So this is dog pound. Um, my son's gonna love this one. Like, this is gonna hurt. Like he's gonna. He's gonna jack someone up with this. I can just feel it in my bones. Um, let's move you down here. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's gonna get jacked up. All right, so we've got almost all of them except for Roth, of course, but that's okay. Stay put. All right, check in, check in, check in, nothing else in the box. Cool. So yeah, most of these are going to go to my son. He like, He's really going to love, he loves watching the cartoons and having the action figures, which is kind of what the toys are meant for, in my opinion. I mean, the cool part is the kid can sit there and watch it on the TV screen and have the toy in their hand and almost bring what they see on the screen to their laps, in their lives, like in their face. And they can make that connection to, yeah, it's on TV, but I can make it happen here. So I think that's why toy lines are so successful because it takes it away from a screen which seems so far and untouchable and you bring it into your realm and now you can control what happens to those characters you see. So I don't know, just my toy opinion on that, but really cool. He's gonna have a blast and I'm excited for him. All right, let's clear some stuff off because we still have two boxes and a little baggie. So we got some more stuff. All right, Mausers, you're going to get put up. There's a specific spot for Mausers downstairs, and then there's a specific spot for Krang. So our turtle collection is growing quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's cool. All right, let me see. I was trying to see who this one was from. I, I couldn't see it, of course. But 
that's okay. This one's super, super packed. Um, like, got all the super tape. This is taking all of my, my might here. This is going to take all of my engineering abilities to open this package. There you go. But, that's why I have the tools. I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Almost, almost, almost. So close. So close. All right. What do we have here? I think I remember my husband talking about these. Um, so I'm going to put them up first because they're really, really cool. Yeah, I remember him picking these picking these up so what had happened was we found a live toy auction we started following a group um, it's called the toy box and um, Gobo is the moderator of it and he had an actual live auction that we had a really fun time participating in um, come to find out I was upstairs and all of a sudden I see um, because I'm subscribed to the page as well I see they're doing a live auction and I was looking at the stuff and all of a sudden I see my husband commenting and like bidding on things. I'm like, wait, what? So I rush downstairs and I'm looking at stuff he's buying and then I start bidding and I'm getting stuff as well. So um, these are just some of the things that he wanted in, you know, out of the auction. There was a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, we had a blast. Like it was actually a really good time really good time um so these are the toy biz marvel characters and um you know we don't really collect these but we have some of them downstairs so they will go downstairs in our like toy room area um yeah we have a couple i think we actually have a couple sealed believe it or not but um they were a great price on them so we couldn't pass them up something oh hold on hold on hold please okay so I remember buying these. This is the first thing I bid on actually, um, were a little bunch of micro machines because, and I'm hoping there were no more that I flung on the floor on accident, because my son, I don't know if you saw the video we did before of this really cool place. I, I don't even remember what it's called. It was called like the barn or something or the junk pit or something like that. It was really neat where we found a little micro machines garage. So we got them for him so he can put them in his little garage and, you know, maybe take a look at the <clears throat> thing above at the, you know, little thing up there. Maybe it will link it to the other video if it's up. So, but yeah, he's going to really like those because it's like you spin it and then like the little garage thing and then the cars like come flying out. So he, he, He's going to like it. So that's a cool find. Almost lost this one. Jeez. That would have been bad. Okay. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1,000 subscribers. And we're pretty close. So please everybody continue to spread the word share on your social media pages get your friends and family together um anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes youtube um so spread the word i would love to get a thousand subscribers and then we can do another giveaway don't know what it's going to be yet um maybe some suggestions what would you think what would you like to see what would you like to see as far as a giveaway um do you want to do like a toy a tour a toy and a tour just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.